to the IGET um, coffee break webinars that um, um, this is a series of webinars that we are organizing from the Interest Group on Agricultural Data in the Research Data Alliance. And the aim of these webinars is to facilitate knowledge sharing. You are all doing great things on, in terms of uh, research data and interpretability, semantics, etc. So these uh, webinars aim really to facilitate uh, the to discover, let's say, uh, what the authors are doing and also to build synergies if there is anything that is presented that uh, is particularly of interest in your institution. Um, I would like to welcome Ketevan Gotchuri, if I say that correctly, Ketevan. Um, she's from the Georgian Farmers Association uh, she's an economist with over five years of experience in working on international and donor-supported projects. She's specialized in proposal writing, uh, project management and implementation, data collection and analysis, and development of reports and studies in the food and agriculture fields. She is going to present um, an introduction to the Georgian Farmers Association. And she's going to let us know now why uh, she submitted this proposal and what is the relationship between what is done by uh, the Georgian Farmers Association to uh, the Interest Group on Agricultural Data and Research Data Alliance. Thank you so much, Ketevan. Uh, the floor is yours. Let me know if you can share your screen easily. Thank you, Ima. Um, thank, uh, hello, every um, hello participants. It's really interesting for me to be able to participate in this webinar, and I would like to thank you, organizers, and also the Institute for Scientific and Technical Information Tech Forum in Georgia. So uh, they gave us the opportunity to to be part of this webinar and to present Georgian Farmers Association. So. Uh, it's uh, again very nice to be here. I will share my uh, screen. Uh, and the presentation today will be uh, uh, about the Georgian Farmers Association and also the um, uh, analytics and research departments uh, that I'm representing. So I work in, uh, I have been working in Georgian Farmers Association since 2015, already more than five years. I have participated in uh, different uh, donor funded projects as already mentioned. Uh, and uh, since last year, I am uh, head of uh, research and analytics department. So in my presentation, I will also talk about the, our researches, studies and our experience uh, in the food and agriculture sector from our perspective. So who we are. So the Georgian Farmers Association was founded uh, in 2012. And at the moment, uh, it uh, unites around 4,000 members and in includes farmers, also agriculture cooperatives and sectoral associations. And the organization covers all sectors of Georgia. For example, we have members from livestock, also from uh, horticulture, for, from wine making and uh, different fields of uh, the sector. And we cover the whole country. Um, mission is to increase the productivity in the agriculture sector, and the goal is to increase the role of farmers in the policy making and policy development uh, process to uh, furthermore increase and improve the competitiveness of agriculture players. And uh, for this purpose, the organization has different uh, directions. Uh, and the first one is the advocacy. So the association advocates for farmers uh, right, and uh, for this purpose, we have created Farmers Council, which is represented by 60 municipalities, and it's um, uh, working uh, very well. The Farmers Council is um, uh, taking care of the uh, different legislations, what is going on in the agriculture sector, and provides uh, recommendations based on the farmers' perspective. Uh, the second uh, main direction is the capacity building. So in, in uh, the framework of, the, of our projects, we have developed several uh, study materials and uh, we have created books for farmers. Also, the members of the association are able to uh, participate in study tours within Georgia and also outside the country. 
And we have also projects in the vocational education and training uh, field. So uh, we are um, quite a uh, mediator between uh, wet colleges and private sector to ensure the uh, theoretical knowledge and also the practice of um, professionals in the agriculture. Access to the market is one of the main directions, and this means to support farmers to access local markets and uh, promote the sales of their produce. Uh, promotion of farmers is one of uh, main directions as well, and we always uh, promote the success of our farmers and members, and uh, for uh, and we are promoting the, their um, their work in the field. As for the projects, I already mentioned that uh, Georgian Farmers Association unites members from all regions of Georgia, and therefore the projects that we implement uh, uh, in the country are covering all regions of Georgia. So this is a map of the country of Georgia, and um, black um, signs are signs of regions. So we have 10 regions in the country, and uh, we have implemented it at the moment. The projects are covering all regions of Georgia. And below the slide, it's, uh, it is shown the donors, uh, our main partners and supporters. Uh, so it's USDA, USAID, USDA, European Union, different uh, embassies of um, European countries and different international organizations that, he, that we are working with. As for the results, if we look uh, last two years, uh, we have, um, uh, for example, supported uh, uh, 550 uh, farmers uh, that have been participated in capacity building uh, programs. They have been gone uh, through the trainings uh, in, for example, in uh, marketing, finance and uh, ma management, uh, and also the um, technical fields like food safety and um, veterinary agronomy and things like that. Uh, also, we have um, uh, supported uh, 23 business support organizations uh, during the last um, uh, two years. So these business support organizations are uh, very important in Georgia because they are um, sectoral associations like uh, Beekeepers uh, Association, uh, Potato Growers Association, and also non-profit uh, organizations that support farmers and SMEs in the field of agriculture. They provide trainings, consultations, and one of the uh, aim uh, and the goal of uh, Georgian Farmers Association is to strengthen the capacity of organizations, of business support organizations, because strengthen sectoral associations means that they um, they are able to provide better and uh, more custom tailored programs to farmers and SMEs. So we have supported 23 organizations in um, different uh, fields, like they um, they are supported with uh, organizational issues, like they have developed strategic uh, plans, action plans for their organization. Uh, they were supported to implement several programs, and uh, this is one of um, one of the achievements. And also, we we have supported 150 cooperatives. Uh, they participated in different uh, programs, uh, benefited from financial as well as technical support. Uh, as for the innovation, so this is um, also one of the main direction of organization to support the new technologies and uh, innovations uh, in the agriculture sector. Uh, the slide shows the timeline. So in 2017, uh, Georgian Farmers Association created mobile application Agronafti, which uh, includes all useful information, uh, starting from the learning materials, uh, also the legislation issues, and um, even weather, weather forecast in the specific regions of Georgia. So it's very useful application. It's um, uh, mobile, um, it's uh, farmers, um, uh, very friendly, and farmers are benefiting from this application. Uh, because they have uh, everything in one application. As, um, uh, as for the next year, uh, in 2019, uh, the organization created AgroGame, uh, which is related to local standards. And I will talk about uh, later in my presentation about this local standard. Also, AgroStop is um, created in, initiated in 2020 and last year, and uh, it's related to agritourism. So in addition to uh, all the fields and industries of the sector, we are also supporting agritourism enterprises 
to strengthen their capacity to uh, to improve uh, their um, management skills. Uh, I mean, the agri-tourism entrepreneurs. And um, Agrostop uh, is one of the tools that, that is supporting the, their activity and their businesses. Uh, and last year, uh, GFA started working on Agronauti web page uh, in order to uh, to consolidate and um, have to combine all the data, all uh, learning materials or uh, books and also other uh, information like and success stories in a web page because the mobile application is uh, um, uh, no, not, um, not uh, suitable for including all um, uh, books and uh, learning materials in one application. So we are supporting the mobile application uh, with the web page uh, that will be more um, uh, more useful for um, for the farmers and also for other stakeholders interested uh, of the sector. And uh, last year we have also created uh, the GF platform, GFA Digital G, uh, which uh, unites all um, uh, platforms. So. We have agronauty web, uh, web page. Uh, we have also agro system mapping, and I will talk about uh, this in a second, next slide. So agro system mapping is one of the platform that will include all information uh, starting from uh, state agencies, uh, for also the laboratories, private extension providers, uh, and the information will be available for, for the whole country, for Georgia. For example, if farmer needs to find a veterinarian in, um, in his or her municipality, uh, he or she will go to this agromap.g web page and uh, will find all useful information like uh, description, address, contact information, and the, um, he or she will contact it directly through this platform. It will be useful for farmers and um, also for um, state agencies, for international organizations. Once I finish my presentation, I will go to this uh, web pages and uh, will show the platform that is um, what, that, what is the condition of the platform at the moment. It's for the local standard that I mentioned in a few minutes ago. So this is the uh, GeoGAP uh, and uh, it's a local standard pro for primary production in Georgia. It's uh, uh, adapted to local um, local situation uh, and uh, uh, it's a local version of global GAP. Uh, everyone knows uh, the international standard global GAP for primary production. And uh, in Georgia, we have created the GeoGAP because uh, farmers um, uh, uh, that will be uh, implementing the standards uh, will be close to the international standards and uh, it will be easier for them to um, uh, to implement also the and adapt the global uh, gap standards in the future so the idea of um, geogap is to provide consultations to farmers also conduct uh, internal audits then external audit and certify the production of uh, um, of farmers and SMEs. Uh, and if they get the certificate, uh, they are certified with GeoGAP standard, it means that they are producing safe and quality products. So it's safe for consumers to purchase um, uh, this production. And uh, at the moment, we have um, uh, three certified uh, farmers. Uh, who are working in horticulture, so they are producing vegetables and fruit. And uh, from this year, uh, in a few months, we will have a new direction of the local standard. So it means that it will be available for uh, dairy farms also to implement GeoGAP in, in their farms. And this will mean that they will be producing safe and quality milk. Uh, it will, and uh, this is linked to excess market. So by uh, initiating the local standards and um, supporting the farmers to implement GeoGAP, uh, this means that we are um, you know, facilitating and encouraging their access to market because we are quite um, providing a guarantee uh, to the uh, processors and um, consumers uh, that the production, primary production, is uh, safe and quality. I would like to speak about GFA development. So, plan what are the plans for the future? Um, and uh, there is a plan to open regional offices because at the moment we only have one office in Tbilisi, in the capital city of the country, but 
Uh, by end of this year, we will have two regional offices of paint intelligence, and it will give us the opportunity to expand and uh, uh, expand our activities and cover um, more uh, villages and uh, engage more farmers in our activities. Also, to strengthen the capacity of farmers' council and uh, uh, mobile uh, application agronomy, as well as the web platform, um, to be more useful and accessible for everyone. Uh, and the service development is one of the main uh, plans for the next um, next year. So it means to develop custom tailored uh, services for farmers and our members. As for the um, research and analytics, so our next uh, few slides will be devoted to analytical and research departments that I am uh, currently engaged with in the organization. Um, and this slide shows um, the work that we usually do in terms of research and analytics. And it's very um, it's uh, very obvious that we start with survey design because in different projects that I, I mentioned, we need uh, to identify, for example, farmers needs and the uh, needs for intervention. And for this purpose, we, uh, at, at, the, uh, at first we conduct design surveys and then organize data collections through uh, different um, methods like focus groups, online surveys, in-depth interviews. And also we uh, work with GFA's call center uh, within the organization and they are supporting us with telephone interviews. Of course, we use the secondary data from National Statistics Office of Georgia, uh, from also different uh, organizations and from the state agencies. Uh, however, there are issues and there are uh, data which is not available. So we have to, um, uh, find, uh, find out the ways uh, to, uh, to collect this data. And this is our work to conduct the surveys by our own. The next step is uh, analyzing the data and interpreting the results. And uh, the slide shows the products, so what we do. So we do needs assessment studies, we do value chain analysis, economic feasibility studies, market researches, and also cost benefit analysis. Uh, and uh, this uh, are, and we are not limiting any sectors. So we have done value chain analysis in different uh, fields, like um, in uh, livestock, in uh, beekeeping, and also in the uh, wine making as well. Uh, we have done needs assessment studies for different purposes. For example, needs assessment study for training, needs assessment study um, for market access, for example, the capacity, what are they, uh, needed capacity to be able to support the farmers in market access and things like that. Um, and uh, I would like to highlight one of the projects uh, that we initiated this year, a few months ago. This is called Market Price Information System. And this means that we are collecting data of uh, agriculture commodities in Georgia. And the, for the pilot, we have chosen the beef and dairy industry. And the table shows the selected products and services uh, for the pilots from beef and dairy industry. So we are collecting the prices of milk and dairy products of beef, live cattle, cattle feed, and services like veterinary and services. And the prices are collected. Uh, some of the prices are collected on weekly basis. Some of them are collected on monthly basis. And uh, uh, we have engaged um, call GFA call center uh, and also data collectors that are collecting uh, prices in uh, in the centers of uh, um, of the region. So we are covering all regions of Georgia, and um, we have already accumulated uh, two months data uh, for these products and services. And in September, September we will have the first uh, reports uh, how are the uh, price dynamics in Georgia in the field of beef and uh, dairy uh, industry. Uh, and we will continue this activity um, in the next year as well. And we are, we, our plan is to add uh, new uh, fields like um, vegetables, primary production, and vegetables will be the first uh, to be added. Uh, and uh, then we, we are going to expand uh, this component. Um, this was a very needed um, activity since um, it was revealed uh, during different meetings, discussions with uh, our members and also the 
as state agency said, if we provide uh, reliable and quality data uh, in, in terms of prices uh, for agriculture commodities, it is very valuable, valuable and needed uh, information for everybody. So we will uh, continue this activity in the future as well. Uh, and uh, there is a special uh, section on GFA's web page, GFA Analytics, and uh, everyone can go there and uh, look at the reports and studies which are publicly available. Uh, I have um, given just uh, two um, pictures of recent studies. So last year during the uh, first outbreak of COVID-19, we uh, conducted uh, impact assessment on, uh, of COVID-19 on Georgian farmers and agriculture. And uh, the results are also available in English on the web page. Uh, the second uh, interesting report and also related to COVID-19 uh, is food security systems in pandemic uh, between dairy value chains. Uh, so, um, some of the reports, many of the reports are not published on the web page because they are developed in the framework of particular projects and uh, uh, are not publicly available. Uh, but which reports are available uh, publicly and um, it's uh, also translated into English, they are published and will be published on this platform. Uh, so for for um, contact information, I, I have included the web page of uh, the organization, also the email address. So it would it would be very nice if we um, get your feedback or contacted uh, in the following uh, months. And uh, we are open any collaboration opportunities between different organizations with different countries. So thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to be part of the webinar. And if there are any questions, I am uh, ready to be to answer. And I will show them a web page of. Uh, um, it is there, is, yeah. there is no time. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was a very detailed and interesting presentation, but we are running out of time. So, and I'm just wondering whether in the audience there is anybody that would like to uh, ask something to Ketaban about the presentation. You can either write in the chat, or if you raise your hand, uh, we can give you access to the mic. Okay. Okay, I, I have a couple of questions. I hope that we will have, because we have only five minutes left. Um, one is, is about semantics. So um, are you using any kind of uh, ontologies or if you are using ontologies or vocabularies, are they translated into, so are they um, um, only uh, available in Georgian or you have something that could help or could um, think, we could facilitate, let's say the implementation of some of the principles and services that you have done in Georgia and other countries, for instance. Uh, Ima, I, I will make sure if I got your question correctly. So you mean the uh, literature or um, information available for farmers? I'm talking about vocabularies. Vocabulary. So when you, are, when you are compiling the information, when you are doing the assessment of the information, etc., particularly for the uh, research data, I assume that you are using standards, as you well said. Uh, yes. So trying to customize some of these standards to the uh, Georgian audience, but maintaining, I understand the principles of the standard, but I'm just wondering that whether besides the data model, besides the standard itself, uh, whether you are also um, um, harmonizing the data using thematic vocabularies. Yes, of course, uh, yes. Uh -huh. We use the standard approach, but uh, um, uh, so in terms of data, we have our own, own database. So we have uh, our members and uh, the information that we have collected during different researches and surveys. Uh, it's uh, it's not complicated data processing, or we are not using any econometric models to process the data. It's just uh, very simple and um, very basics of data processing and also <laughs> the usage. Yeah, we are we are not uh, like statistics office or scientific uh, research centers who 
to be more um, like a, uh, to use approaches uh, that are um, okay. relevant for yeah scientific field. Great. Um, Dora has a question for you too. Um, she's asking whether, um, no, how long does it take to certify farmers for export goods, specifically for the example that you said, which was horticultural crops? Thank you for the question. Uh, so I will clarify that uh, this uh, certification is a local standard and uh, it, um, it encourages the sales on the local market. So, once the farmers have the certification, um, it does not uh, mean that uh, he or she is able to export the goods. Uh, and as for the uh, timing uh, around in the, for the crops, it takes uh, eight, uh, nine, uh, on average eight, nine uh, months mm -hmm. to implement the, pro implement the standard. Okay, so we have another question for you from Caroline. Mm. Uganda, and so sorry because there are some works in my neighborhood. Uh, I'm interested in knowing how the beekeeping sorry, industry is structured. Uh, beekeeping uh, industry is uh, represented by individual farmers as well as cooperatives. And even in Georgia, we have uh, second uh, level cooperatives. So uniting different co several cooperatives and um, uh, they are um, like in terms of cooperation, uh, they have joint uh, production as well as processing and um, sales um, of their production. Uh, some of them are also exporting the products. They, they are producing honey and other um, different <clears throat> bee products. They are uh, even exporting to um, Iran and uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, also Azerbaijan. And we have a few cases uh, that um, honey was exported to Germany last year. Okay, thank you so much, Ketevan. We have the last question uh, from Oitiza. Uh, how do you validate the data you collect from across organizations to assure the reliability of the data? Try to be very brief because we really need to okay. close the session. Um, Yes, uh, we validate the data using different um, collection methods. For example, we, as mentioned, we use uh, telephone surveys. We are collecting the data from our farmers. Also, we are collecting the data from the experts so the, and uh, the technical people engaged in the field, and also from the state agencies because they are also implementing the state programs and are uh, observing and um, uh, like monitoring the success of their beneficiaries. So we are engaging uh, different uh, parties and uh, also, of course, validate the data. Thank you. Just on time, Ketevan, you're fantastic. It's 1.30, exact. So I would like, like to, to thank you so much for being here today, Ketevan, and thank you for this so interesting presentation. And also to all the, all the people that um, could participate today, if you have any, any more questions for Ketevan, you can always email um, us, either me or Chelsea, and we are making sure, we are going to make sure that this is um, um, sent to Ketevan. Uh, we don't know whether we are going to have an EGET meeting in a couple of weeks. Um, we will let you know. Uh, as Chelsea and I remind you, try to subscribe to the EGET mailing list because it's the best way to really make sure that you are updated about all these things. Thank you again for, for being here today to everybody and let's meet again soon, uh, maybe after summer or in two weeks time. Thank you.